Any of my favorite comic bar to draw, uh, uh, I'm like a fucking one Power Ranger thing. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna tune in. There's a, I didn't even know there was a comic for Power Rangers. Mm-hmm. I didn't either. That's where a lot of these characters come from. Ah. Uh. Like, not all these characters are on the cartoons. Like, especially that, that Kimberly. That Kimberly comes from the comics. Battle Battle for the Grid was actually a comic book series. Yeah. They tried to make it to a movie. Interesting. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, yeah, it started out as a comic. That's how, and that's how you get all these cool characters. Because, like, that version of the White Ranger was never really seen, I don't think, on the in the cartoons. All the because, you know, I started watching cartoons about two decades ago. But... Well, cartoons with the live action, right? You're right. Yeah. <clears throat> but you know what I mean. Like the it's a cartoon. I mean, if they did a cartoon, it would have been a lot better. Yeah, whatever. You would have been able to do more. Oh my gosh, man. Get me. Thank especially you. if Thank it was you. like especially if it was like anime and not like Western animation where there's like so many rules about the yeah. level of violence. Yeah, absolutely. Real. I was it's... watching this documentary oh, on um Batman um animated series. Mm-hmm. And they were talking about all the restrictions for violence in America at that time. <clears throat> he was, they were like, uh, you you couldn't, they, they would have like scenes with like, you know, like G.I. Joe and stuff like that. I don't know if it was G.I. Joe specifically, but like they had, you have a bunch of shoulders, uh, soldiers, no, super friends. It was uh, before G.I. Joe, super friends. You could have an army of soldiers. They could not have guns in their hands. Yep. They had, so they were like, they would put like shovels and stuff in their hands. Yep. To like have them have stuff in their hands, but the the soldiers could not have guns. <clears throat> they couldn't fire weapons. Nobody could shoot. There was a they, they they so it was really hard to do action because like nobody could throw a punch. Uh, like they didn't want any violence. <clears throat> but you got these superheroes who are, you know, in nature the comic books are violent or at least, you know, confrontational. But they kind of like eliminated the confrontation. Right. And then you got, uh, you got, um, they had this, they, they, they finally, uh, they, they did the scene, this, 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 uh, episode where they sh- shrunk them down so they could fight, uh, critters like spiders and stuff like that. Cause like, okay, you can hit a spider, <clears throat> but even then they had Robin kick a spider off the table and then like standards and practices was like, Hey, uh, is the spider okay? Like, uh, you gotta, you gotta show that spider surviving damn so they had to they had to cut in a scene <clears throat> where the spider actually you know survives the fall and walks away <clears throat> that's crazy it is and look at where we are now where literally people's like attack on titan I mean, you see all people's organs Bro. yeah that's it oof that first fucking episode. I was just oh, like, I oh, I was like, okay, <clears throat> this is what we're in for. I can't watch that show. I'm not even close. It's it's too dark. Oh, it's even darker. I love it. <laughs> yeah, man, I can't do that. Mm-mm. My personality is already there. I don't need the help. What did you say? So I'm already there. I'm up. Oh. I'm already on the dark side, so oh, damn it, man. everything I watch is to take me in the other direction. Oh, to make you happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> make me happy. All right. We late. A little bit. Shoot. Ooh. I want something. Was that? I didn't win the war. What'd you say? I want some matches, but I didn't win the war. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, uh, that, uh, oh. Uh. <clears throat> oh, I know why. Every time I have Streamlabs open, never wants to give the control back to the webcam. Should be 
So how y'all feeling? Oh, there you go. You got your cam back. Oh. Surrounded and no place to go. You're You're Google Power Rangers. You ain't great, so. I can't hear you, AJ. You're muted. Bro. Oh, you're muted. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Deadpool's. And it says surrounded by greatness. It's a bunch of Deadpools all together. Uh-huh. It's a Chris. It was my Christmas present for my little sister. So, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. From Shana. Yep. Only got one little sister. Check my. How many siblings do you have, AJ? I got two sisters and a brother. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alrighty. Oh, let me fix my. Yo, I was looking at um one of those LED corner lamps. You know, those basically those poles that you buy, plug yeah. it in, and lights up the corner of your house. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> those things cost two hundred some odd dollars. Like a hundred. Well, I saw one for like one twenty nine, but still, it's still. an LED strip running yeah. up a pole or something right mm-hmm. and then I mean, you can buy an led strip with the remote and the and the all the stuff to connect it you can buy that yourself mm-hmm. and you can literally build a little corner thing out of anything like i saw a guy do it out of pvc but i was just like i can't believe i was like there's got to be something more to these things nah. <clears throat> if they cost 129 dollars like, you can. That's that's that convenience mm. premium. They say if you want to cheat, you engineer it yourself. Look, man, I I'm saying like, <clears throat> I watched a guy do it because I wanted to see how I wanted to yeah. see like if anybody thought it was as ridiculous as me as if I was the only person <laughs> seeing this. So I was like, has anybody made one of these? So I just googled it real quick. No. You see, the guy said what? other than paint. <laughs> yeah, I saw a guy. He said other than painting it, he said it took him ten minutes to assemble. Basically, he bought PVC. He had them cut the PVC at, at Home Depot, right? So he bought the PVC, had him cut it to the side so he can build the stand, basically. And right. he said if he hadn't if he hadn't painted it, you know, ten minutes, and he would have had this thing set up. Painted black. Yeah, he painted it black, like the like most of the lamps you see. Most of them are black. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and you don't want the PVC numbers, and it just looks no. better if you just paint the whole thing once a solid That's color. True. That's true. So. Yeah, he went and painted the whole thing, and I was like, "Yeah, it's ten minutes, and it's not a lot of work because you don't have to cut it, so you don't have to worry about measuring." Because the worst part about building anything is measuring, right? Yeah, <clears throat> it's the whole supply chain thing. Yeah, it's just it's just a funny thing, like what what costs money and why it costs money. Yeah, they always get they always get you somehow. Yeah, like there, I want to start a business where we, I sell like. All I gotta do is sell like a hundred uh, a year, and I'll be fine with those profits. <clears throat> Cost me less than fifty dollars to make. I sell it for one hundred twenty dollars. I sell a hundred. <clears throat> so that's what six thousand extra dollars. That's six thousand extra dollars. Where I'm just like, yeah, I can make a hundred. dollars what's that? A hundred times that's a thousand minutes. I don't really know how many hours that is, but who cares? It's not a lot over the course of a year. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to start an Etsy store, man. Just making little LED lamps. You got the time and the skills. Absolutely. It's a good way to make a make a little extra, a little extra something. Something on the side. Put blur the mesh on them bad boys. New merch. Sixteen. <laughs> All right, painted black. Put the. Yeah, sixteen. I was I was doing it in my head as we spoke. I was like, I need to figure out how many hours this is because it's not that hard. But it's not. This isn't rocket science here. I was like, it's definitely more than ten because that's six hundred minutes. So, so one way I was on my way, but Carl came through with the, the actual number. 
Well, yeah, basically seventeen hours, and uh, I made six thousand dollars if I can if I can offload a hundred in a year. Yep, that's not bad. Uh, say what, you know? That's less than half a work week. Oh yeah, definitely. What you said, JK? Y'all said it at the same time. Right on Etsy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna look into the Etsy store stuff because I know people do it. I read this article about this woman who des- she um designs other people's shoes. She made twenty four thousand dollars in three months. God damn. So she 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 you send her your shoes. <clears throat> She designs, she puts like a design on there, her own personal design, unless she, she'll, she'll collaborate with you if you want. Mm-hmm. So, I, but the price goes up the more kind of like custom your shoe is. And uh, she, she was just selling those for a, a good bit. And then she started teaching people how to do it. So she would charge for the class. She made like, it was like, it was like 24,000 and it was three, it was six months. $24,000 in six months. She has, smart as hell. She has, Designing people's shoes on Etsy. That's crazy. Man, man. I'm doing the wrong thing. Hell Absolutely. Yeah, I'm working for a living. That's crazy. Nice. Like, they, I mean, she's, I write I'm a sure book. she's, she, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need to write a book. That's huge. Um, Because that's so passive that you don't even think about it. Because you get like a PDF and you just be like, all you have to do is like, Right, like a, it ain't even gotta a be a little good book. blurb, right? Yeah. And then just be like, "Hey, man, chip in." You ain't even gotta. You don't even have to pay me nothing. Chip in, right? If you just gotta chip in, you know, you'll catch every every like maybe 100, 150 people. Somebody go chip in. That's passive income. You don't. You know, you have no idea. So you really just want everybody to know that you wrote the book, and then let them right. come name to it. it like I got the secret to life. No bullshit. Live oh, forever. They used to run this scam on uh, Amazon where like, cause you know, you get, you get, um, you get paid per page turn or you used to, I don't know if that's still the algorithm. Um, that's so great. people would write a book and they would literally say, they put a link in the book that says, go to the last page. And there'd be nothing really in the book, but it'd be hundreds of pages. So you click the link and then you go to the yeah. last page and they got paid because somebody went all the way to the last page. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, like uh, the book has, damn. The book has nothing in everything. it. God. That's what I'm saying. Like, but they figured out the algorithm. Once you figure out how, how Amazon pays people when they, when they publish on their platform, yeah. they would just be like, okay, all they have to do is read my whole book. They have to get all the way through it. So I just put a link in the book. Like that says, Hey, go to page three, whatever, whatever, whatever. You click on that, sends you to the last page. They collect all basically page turns. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> is it was crazy. I gotta find that article because I was reading. I was like, I can't believe that that's a thing. I can't believe first of all that Amazon had such a stupid algorithm, right? Where like somebody can literally just open the book and go to the last page and you count it as in success. Everything. Or maybe the link was programmed so that it ran through every page, maybe, and then oh. just went to the last page eventually. I don't know, but it sounds like a dumb algorithm to me. Uh, I don't know what's strange. going on behind the scenes. Yeah, they was making tons of money just writing stupid books that had like go to the last page in it, and just collecting the check. Man, hustling backwards. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. out here working hard and shit, trying to make quality yeah. shit. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> exactly. Damn. But you know what? Making money has not never been hard. It's making money and and, and having and having your conscience intact. That's the hard part. Like making money itself has never been hard. I know people who have always who always got money, but they do some stuff that I just like. You know, I'm not willing to go that far, guys. I mean, (laughs) that's a little bit too much. Yeah, would like to like to keep my soul. Thanks. Yeah, sleep at night just a little bit. Yeah, I already got yeah, back pain. Like, I don't need. I don't need my conscience keeping me up too. That's double. <laughs> Sorry, got back pain. Facts. Listen, right there with you with them old nigga pains. You talking about doing a side hustle or work? Say what? You say you keep keep yourself um, keep your morals intact. Yeah, just you know, just the things that are important to me, and 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 the, the lines I won't cross. I mean. Yeah. You never know. When you watch The Mandalorian, you know that everybody got a line they'll cross eventually. Take off your helmet or whatever. But uh, 
Who did he take it off for? He took he it took off, off. He took it off every season, most well, seasons. He took it off a ton. He took it off. End. He, I mean, he t- he takes. Oh, off. Carl, oh. you're not even man. Let me stop talking, Carl. Oh yeah, Carl don't care about spoilers. Are, are we running, Kev? Because I, I don't want to. I don't. Want, oh, okay. I think Let it's just us spoiler. watching. Maybe. Oh no, Maurice is here. He be out. Okay, yeah, so he took it off. <laughs> you know he took it off in the, last, in the first season in front of the robot, right? But that doesn't count because it's not a person, technically. Yes. So so everybody was like, okay, it doesn't count. You know, it's a robot. That does not count. There's an entire episode in the second season where he has to go, he has to take his head, well, it's not the entire episode. He has to take his helmet off for the last, like, five minutes of the episode in order to, uh, so, you know, finish the mission. Caught. Yeah. Spoiler alert. So everybody yeah. had to see. I mean, him. that didn't. Spo- uh, not everybody didn't see him, but most of the people that that mattered saw it. So it doesn't matter. like a bunch of people that uh, didn't make it through the episode saw. It, so those people don't count. Oh, I guess. Damn. <laughs> so they no, they didn't make it. They 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 kind of expired. Like you know, two minutes two minutes uh, towards the end of the episode, they expired in some mm-hmm. capacity. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> The few but, that made it, he could just kill those people. Right? Yeah, but those they're they're his friends, <laughs> so he's not gonna murder them. What? He had no choice but to take his own loss. All everything's everything revolves around Baby Yoda, so or Grogu. So shoot, I don't know how far you are. I'm just spoiling all kinds of stuff. <laughs> but um, you can't be spoiled. I know you can't, but the I don't know who's on the stream. I don't know who's out here get telling me it. to They'll go die get somewhere. Over it. <laughs> you said <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> Like, come on! It's we're in the we can put streaming. A spoiler alert for Mando. Like, yeah, you you can't hear your good car. You go like going in and out. When look, all the Warner Brothers movies about to be on HBO Max. I don't want people talking about. Oh, I don't want to hear any spoiler. It's on the streaming <laughs> service. <laughs> Deal with it. That's cool, man. Damn, call right. Ice in your veins. Cool. Hey, Matrix, I, I, Space I Jam, all this crap's gonna be on there. Oh what? Ma- hold up, that's from who's like gonna, who's gonna watch Space Jam? No, but like no, there's, the, there's no the new Matrix and the new Space oh, Jam. Oh, and on HBO I, I was about to yeah, say, yeah. They like, show they show LeBron getting sucked up into like a little wormhole. So the it's the second oh, Space Jam. Why is they? Uh, why yeah, they, they, they did a little commercial. Running. He's he's trying to erase Michael Jordan from the memories of, yeah. of, of basketball history. So he's doing everything Mike did, and as long as like young people just keep thinking LeBron, 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 eventually he'll become the greatest because people will be like, I don't even know what Michael Jordan looked like. I don't, I don't know how his game looked like. You see Michael Jordan now; he's out of shape. Yeah, he he looks kind of sick, to be honest with me. Like, yeah, yeah he looks well. Michael Jordan. No, he, his eyes are like yellow every time you see him. I don't trust that. Like that's yeah. that, that looks like that's some too kind much. of liver disease or something yeah. to me. Too much liquor. Too much. Yeah, uh, that's what I was liquor. thinking. Yeah, so it's like Michael Jordan doesn't look like an athlete. I mean, the only way you'll know him now is because his shoes still sell like crazy. But uh, freaking LeBron. First of all, LeBron's played longer than almost anybody at, at his level. So yeah, he's, absolutely. He's He's just been he's just been consistent for you know like freaking what is it a decade now? Like LeBron's what three years older than me, three or four years older than me. Damn. So he's been playing he's been playing since he was eighteen years old. Oh oh. Yep. Yeah. So what black male billionaires are there that actually looks fresh? LeBron's gonna be the first one. Yes. <laughs> nah, because he he's gonna be a billionaire. And the moment he take the moment he decides to put the basketball down, I guarantee his net worth like d- like triples. He's got a yeah. triple. Yeah, his deal with Nike his... is they couldn't even value it. They're like, it's a lifetime deal with Nike. It doesn't go away, so they can't even put a price on it because everybody else is like they're like, okay, it's a hundred million dollars. This guy's gonna make a hundred million dollars over such and such years with Nike. That's the deal assigned. Kevin Durant signed a deal right. with Nike, I think. Say what? Kind of like Kobe, right? Like even though he passed. He oh, that's broke. different. I think I think that's posthumous. <clears throat> oh, but yeah. LeBron specific, this is the first time Nike ever did it where they're like, no, nah, we want this guy, we want basically to be attached we to this guy for forever. the rest of his life. Right, right. <clears throat> so they're like, nah, man, just gonna keep it's probably some kind of profit sharing thing. But so he's making money off Nike, do starting schools, which is probably a tax cut of some sort or whatever. 
Uh, he, <clears throat> if I was him, he, I'd take at least half of that money and just buy Nike shares. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> like it's not like he's he's hurting for the money. So I'm like, and, yeah, take half of it, just buy the shares. And he's um I think he's in on that management business, right? The the um he's I think he helped finance that, right? Sports. So Rich Paul? <clears throat> yeah, Rich Paul's business. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's definitely getting a cut from that. Right, right. So Rich Paul's been signing jokers left and right, right? And because LeBron is, you know, kind of like the face of that, even unofficially, because he's not officially the face, but he's unofficially the face. People know that's LeBron's LeBron's guy. So absolutely, you get these young guys, they just need one real star. They haven't had one yet. They just need one real star. And he's going to be making money off that. He wants to be a, a team owner as soon as he, you know, stops. So yeah, I would love to see that. He played that perfectly. Like yeah. he has, he has, you know, enough uh, separation, quote unquote, from mm-hmm. the players. But he's going to be an owner who has an in with the hottest agent in the game. Mm-hmm. Yep. that's going to be so unfair. Oh, and don't forget <laughs> the production company. He will be in the yep. finals. The first year he owns it. Yeah. So he can he can start his own he's, league. He's going to he's going to erase Michael Jordan from the memories of of anybody. And that's just the way greatness works, right? Like eventually somebody else comes and like the young kids don't know nothing about Jordan. Shoot, Jordan was playing his I think his first year was the year I was born. So Damn. his first year in the pros was in eighty eight. Yeah. No, nah, he was 84. No, 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 no. I think it was college. No, nah, nah, he was 84. Was first year. Oh, it was 84? Yeah. yeah. 84 or 85 oh, so 88, was first year. 80, 88 was the first year he went to the playoffs then, I think. Yeah, well, he's, yeah. when he first started uh, running into the Pistons. Right, right, right. Okay, my bad, my bad. So, yeah, so, shoot, the Joker was in the league when, when uh, four years before I was born. So, there's no way any of the, all these other kids grew up with LeBron as the best player in the league. Consistently, <clears throat> he could be MVP every year. Two thousand. Well, it's just like with every era, like every person, right? Like Dr. J during Dr. J's time, you know, that's when Will Smith was growing up. So that's why he, he's not. Well, the he's also from Philly, right? He's not the greatest player in the world, but like I'm saying, during that time, but Will like, Will's from Philly though, so he's gonna be a Dr. J fan because Philly True, people are like that. There were a few people that thought Dr. J was the best back then. So what? Yeah, especially when especially when the leagues were split and he was on the other side, maybe doing yeah, everything yeah. A lot he was of people doing. Yeah, he was the best. Yeah. And it makes sense when the leagues are split, but when the leagues came back together, nobody really thought that for long. Yeah. Well, either way, like there's certain players that were seen as, mm-hmm. well, still seen as the great, like greatest players, top tier players. I mean, not great. You know, there was there's only like what three people that they seen as greatest players of all time. Which are Kobe, LeBron, and Mike. Depends on who you ask. Uh, yeah. Some old heads will claim Wilt Chamberlain. Some mm-hmm. will claim Bill Russell because all the championships. Yeah. True. Magic Johnson. Magic. Who does this Magic Johnson. So it kind of proves Kareem. Kareem. So each era had a group of players that people that were greatest were the greatest, right? That's right. Time. Yeah. So but era, Michael Jordan on. has the most votes. Yeah. Universally, oh, people God. recognize like how even the old heads Michael, like Michael MJ. Jordan. Yeah. Even the old heads like Michael Jordan. It's not because he took out some of the old heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, sent them, he sent them. He sent them into retirement. <laughs> Larry Bird famously said that we just face God in basketball shorts. Oh, so. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He was cooking yeah, he ass. <laughs> he, he told uh, Bill Murray, he's like, what are you doing, Bill? You retired. You can't play. I was like, damn. <laughs> just sit on the sideline. It's like, just stay, just stay here with me, motherfucker. Just stay here with me. You, you old and dusty like me. Not old and dusty, goddamn. I wonder if Bill Murray is going to be in the new Space Jam. I hope not. That 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 movie should not be. True. That movie should not exist. Oh, man, I'm super sorry. Old. I, should, I don't know. Trust me, I love LeBron. Look, man. But like, that's just that's it's, going too far. Too like too I far. said, he's trying to erase Michael Jordan. That's why he won't go bald. 
because he knows he doesn't want that comparison. He's that's the reason. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, but, the, but you know what? Fan. I became a, I became a, I became a LeBron fan when I saw that because I saw like some weakness, and I was like, finally, something I can have, something in common with the common man, right? LeBron, <laughs> even LeBron can't fight back hair loss. Then I became a LeBron fan. Until then, I was a LeBron hater. I was like, I hate this guy. Too, too talented. I hate it. Hate it. Too much uh, talent. Supposedly, he has a photographic stuff, memory, man. too. Can't stand that. Look. Goddamn James Harden. What a shame. Well, well, well James Harden. No, I, I do. I, I'm, I, I'm a talent hater. I hate when I see somebody who's just, like, born good at stuff. I'm just like, well, yeah, the work? Man, shut up. Oh, you a hater. <laughs> Yes, I thought we just established that. Right. Yes, like a, I'm I mean, a hater. There's no shame. <laughs> no. I I'm one of the greatest. Yeah. I think I'm one of the greatest yeah. haters of all time because I think I can break it down logically why I hate him. I think mm. I, I think uh, that you guys can really get you yeah, really can feel it into the hate. To a new level. You get the passion and you get the you get the actual like like I can break it down structurally why I hate something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm. that makes sense. Yeah. So logically, yeah, I think I'm a great. I think I think there should be haters out there who hate me for how good I am at hating. That's fair. <laughs> they probably they probably are, to be honest. So you're trying to start a real yeah. player haters ball, basically. Oh, absolutely, man. That that's my dream. <laughs> that is my dream. <laughs> oh man, if I can start like a whole like con where we just hate on people. Hater con. <laughs> Hater con. Hater con. And we have it until I have That's con, the worst. Like, <laughs> my <laughs> God, I know niggas that. hate to go there. Stop that. Tallahassee like Civic Center. Hater call. <laughs> like one hotel there. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody gonna be stuck in that one dusty ass hotel. Damn. Look, man, we got like we got like three now, man. We got three okay, dusty hotels. That's why I have to deal with you. <laughs> My man said we got three dusty three. hotels now. That's a three. Came up. Look, man, it's like Monopoly, man. You gotta, you, you gotta get a bunch of houses where you can put a hotel out there, man. We just, yeah. we're just working on our next trip around the board. Wow, mm. wow, wow, wow. Tallahassee, man. we're making like ten, eight trips around the board. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, well, I hate my city. That's enough. That's enough. We've yeah, done enough. Kev, start the show. Yeah, start the show, Kev. Inside of y'all nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. 